Y'all, so the reactions are rolling in for Shazam! Fury of the Gods, guys, and listen, I'm kind of, I'll be honest, I love the first one. I'm not really that excited for this one. The trailers and the marketing just haven't done a lot for me, but y'all gotta let me know, are you really looking forward to Shazam! Fury of the Gods? Hey, I'm gonna look at these reactions. I haven't looked yet, so I'm hoping to hear good things. I'm hoping to see some good stuff, but guys, if it's your first time on the channel, what are you doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below for your boy Leo Rydell. This is Geekly Goods. Here we talk the MCU, DCU, and beyond you all. That includes movies, TV, y'all. We talk about a lot here on our channel. So hit that subscribe button. And guys, let's take a look at these reactions for Suzanne Fury of the Gods. Listen, I hope they're good. I hope they're good. Let's take a look. We're starting our first one here from Jamie Broadnax. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that right. So let me know down in the comments if I'm not. But... Here's what she had to say. Shazam continues to lean into his silliness and immaturity in this sequel, which tells us this franchise will remain to keep these films funny, light, and slapstickish. The sequel comes with more action, compelling villains, and a complicated anti-hero. Okay, that sounds actually really, really cool. Okay, some silliness, some fun. I'm glad they're not switching up the tone on Shazam. I didn't really expect them to switch up the tone, but I like the sound of a complicated anti-hero. Wonder who we're talking about there. Maybe Rachel Zegler's character. Very, very curious to see what we're going to explore here. I want to know if there's some twists and turns though, guys. Let's move on to the next one. This one is coming from Daniel Baptista, the movie podcast. Shazam! Fury of the Gods is a magical and hilarious family adventure. Pony Smashers supercharges everything that made the first film special with the heart of the story always the shazam -ily. Rachel Zegler and Jack Dylan Grazier steal every scene. Okay, it's glad to hear that Rachel Zegler's killing it. Hey, it sounds like Jack Dylan Glazier also kills it, man. He was one of my favorite things about that first movie. Freddy was hilarious, and when he got the powers at the end, I was like so happy for my guy, you know, because he had the crutch and all, and they said, yo, you can be super too, so I love that, what they did with that character. I really think Jack Dylan Grazier, it has so much spunk and personality that he brings to this role, and so I'm really looking forward to see where Freddy's at in the next one, and honestly, I'm looking forward to seeing his career take off even more, guys. Let's move on to the next one. We've got Anthony, looks like the other member of the movie podcast, saying Shazam is exhilarating. David F. Sandberg whips up a captivating and truly funny story that can be celebrated with the whole family. Rachel Zeckler, Jack Dylan Grazier, and Dijman Hanso are standouts for me. Free of the Gods is super powered fun. So, so far, lots of positive comments and lots of praise for Rachel Zegler and for Jack Dylan Grazier. So love to hear that. But what about Zachary Levi? What about Asher Angel? I wonder if they kind of get some of that, that spunk, they get some of that, that spark stolen from them a little bit here. Sounds like Rachel, at least according to these two, Rachel Zegler and Jack Dylan Grazier did a great job. And some Dijon Han, Han Solo. Love. love to hear that because it seems like he be getting sidelined sometimes, y'all. So glad to hear the positivity. Let's continue. This is coming from Eric Eisenberg on Twitter who says, Shazam! Fury of the God is a super fun and worthy sequel. Not a game-changing comic book movie, but it wins you over with its characters and energy. Has some real surprises and a knowing sensibility that suit it well. Plus some creative and exciting monster action. Okay, okay, some exciting monster action. Okay, I love to hear that. You know, I was looking at that trailer and I will admit, I was like, okay, the Khaleesi joke, the dragon, I don't know, this is not working, but I'm really glad it worked for Eric here, I hope when I sit down and see the movie, it's gonna be funner and funnier. That was nice for him to include that it's not like a shattering sequel, so it's nothing maybe that DC is gonna be like, we gotta get a third one going right now, but it's still a fun franchise that can maybe get people in the seats. I'm very curious to see how this box office performs though, y'all, cause y'all know Creed has already been out. Scream comes out this Friday. John Wick comes out the week after. Like, I'm, I'm nervous for Shazam. Shazam's got a rough, rough go ahead of it uh, because it's got John Wick 4. It'll be competing with Scream from the last. And if Scream kills the box office, ugh, it's going to be rough, guys. It's going to be rough. And then Mario, I think Mario Bros. movie is actually the week right after, right after John Wick, if I'm not mistaken. It, there's a lot coming up in this little clump of... March and April, so unfortunately, I'm not seeing, I'm not predicting a great box office return for this movie, but y'all gotta let me know. Let's move on. This is coming from Courtney Howard on Twitter, who says, Shazam! Fury of the Gods, Shazam! movie is a super powered sequel that packs a punch. A super solid, super fun, and super smart blend of hilarity, heart, and heroics. Ramps up the action and irreverence to a delightful degree. 
Helen Mirren, Lucy Liu, and Rachel Zegler are MVPs. Love the dragon. Okay, love the love for my ladies, Helen Mirren and Lucy Liu. Cause yo, when they announced that Lucy Liu was gonna be on this, y'all, I was at Comic Con. She came out on stage, y'all. The crowd went nuts. Listen, I I was excited. I'm like, I'm hyped. Let's get that Lucy Liu Helen Mirren action in here. But I will admit. <laughs> Helen Mirren, I'm like, I'm looking forward to her in that Fast franchise, y'all. I'm going to be real with y'all. Like, I love her in the fa Fast franchise and the Fast and Furious franchise. So, let's see how she does here. I'm sure she's going to be great. I mean, Queen Helen. We don't we don't talk bad about Queen Helen around here. But I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. And it sounds like a lot of praise for most of the cast, but I'm not hearing a lot for Asher Angel or for Zachary Levi. I'm like, okay, you guys are like the lead of the film. Wonder how that back and forth went in this Shazam movie, but it sounds like it's fun, super powered, enjoyable, lots of funny and silly laughs. Let's take a look at this last one. So this is coming from Gabriella Gissinger, who says, Within Shazam, Fury of the Gods is a fun buddy comedy starring Dijmon Hanso and Jack Dylan Grazier. Okay, nice little dynamic going on between those two. Unfortunately, you have to watch Shazam 2 to see it. <laughs> Few bright spots bogged down by final act muddy CGI battle. Oh. DC has an issue with that. Levi plays Billy as if he's on the joke, as if he's in on the joke, an uncanny valley of humor. Yeah, that's so weird. I mean, few bright spots bogged down by final act muddy CGI battle. Ugh.